Hey guys, it's Desran303 here, and here is the username of the winner of 2000 Wii points from uh, my last Call of Duty Black Ops video of this week. It's just going to come up on screen now, so congratulations to this person. Um, the comment that he left is, I have it here, it's, Oh man, in my opinion you are the best Wii commentator in YouTube at the moment. I really need those, those points to buy me some classics. Keep up the good work. It wasn't chosen on what comment he left. But uh, rather than, I went on a website called random.org and I picked a random generator out of all the comments that were left. So congratulations to you. I hope you enjoy the 2,000 Wii points in whatever you purchase. Maybe you can let me know what you actually purchase in the PM. But um, please don't be too upset, guys, for not winning because this week I have another one to give away on this video. So it's the same again. Um, another 2,000 Wii points. You can use them on your Wii or your Nintendo DSi. I was I actually bought three of these, okay? I got one for my girlfriend, one for me, and one for you guys, but uh, you know what? I don't really need the 2000 Wii points at the moment. I've got enough games to be playing, so I'm gonna give this one to you guys as well. So all you have to do to win this is to comment on the video, uh, leave your thoughts, leave your comments, blah, 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 all you have to do is, as well, is like the video and please save it to your favorites as well. That would really help me out, guys. And this is what I'm offering to you guys in return for those little deeds. So I think you're going to enjoy this gameplay. It's a full commentary from me. So let's jump into that video right now. Bonjour, mes amis. Je m'appelle Desran303. Hey guys, it's Desran303 here. Just a small bit of French there for you guys, in case you didn't know. Um, we're playing against the BFR clan in this gameplay, and they are French. They're a French clan. They're a pretty good clan, actually. They played really well in the match previous to this. They completely outplayed us. And in this gameplay, we try to change things around. We try to turn the tide of the battle. As they are a full clan, so it's five of them against me. Alicia32, who is my niece. Hello, Alicia. <laughs> Uh, the Juicy, who is a very good friend of mine. And we've got two players from the GOW clan. And they are friends of Alicia32. They're her allies, say. So um, I believe one of them is my ally as well. So You might have just noticed there I flicked out the Strela. The Strela is my secondary weapon because I was playing um, kind of defensively. Because in the game before this, they did beat us uh, fairly well. But they did have a lot of helicopters out as well, so I had my Strela there as my secondary, but really I, should, I could have done with a gun, uh, as you might see from this gameplay. But I just want to explain as well, guys, that uh, I'm just getting back into Black Ops as well. I've have, I have had uh, quite a break from playing this game, so I'm a bit rusty on a couple of different things, but like uh, I'm getting better and better. Like I'm... Um, my hip fire accuracy isn't too great at the moment, but I think you'll notice as well in this gameplay that the connection is kind of a small bit jittery. Now I will, I will actually point out which part I think is jittery. It's kind of like this guy is teleporting around in a circle, and I just can't hit him. It's kind of strange, but um, I think you, think you guys already know about the connection issues on Black Ops and so on. Like I've seen quite a lot of uh, Xbox 360 and PS3 gameplay. And the hit detection is crazy. I mean, you, you don't have to even aim at someone and you can get a kill. Like, it's crazy. In, um, on Wii, on Black Ops, it's the complete opposite. You have to be dead accurate. Which is probably a good thing as well, like, but... Um, so, yeah, this, this French clan, BFR, they're a really good clan. Uh, in the first gameplay, they completely outplayed us, as I already said. But um, I hope I'm not doing this clan an injustice by uploading this gameplay... Uh, you know, like it, it would be unfair to say, oh yeah, we completely hammered them and they're not a good clan. That's not the case. We just played very well against them in this particular game. We were all wearing headsets for this gameplay, and it's a shame I can't share with you our, you know, our conversations because like we were completely strategizing every every chance we got. We were like, okay, I'm going to take C, and you guys go for B. I'm going to hold down C. So in this gameplay, I'm actually holding down the C flag. And there was one point where I was like, okay, I'm going to hold down the C flag, guys. All of you put as much pressure as you can on the B flag, and we'll hold those two flags. 
Like, it's so much better when a whole team, or maybe four people in this case from our team, put pressure on the B flag all at the same time. Because if you're going in one after another, you're going to be easily picked off if there's three guys in there or something like that. So you'll see here there's a couple of occasions where we lose the B flag, we get it back again. I'm not going to ruin the outcome of this gameplay, so I hope you just keep on watching for that. Um, yeah, so another thing I've been using on Black Ops now, since I've kind of come back, because I have a lot of complaints about hit detection, and, you know, if you're aiming at someone and you're ready for them and they're they're running into you and you get killed it's it's nonsense like you know your your hits just don't register but what i'm doing now at the moment is if i if i uh, sense there's a guy going to come around the corner i'm actually going to start shooting before he actually comes around the corner so there's a kind of instance there where there's a couple of bullets shot out of my gun and it didn't hit it didn't i got a hit marker but i thought i should have killed him really but anyway if I sense that there's a guy going to come around the corner, I'm going to start shooting before he even comes around the corner. That way I'm guaranteed the victory in that small little gunfight. And here as well, three guys came around the corner there and I was shooting a fair amount of bullets. Now, okay, the, guy, the other guys on my team got the kills, but I thought I should have got one or two. I got a fair amount of bullets out, but um, needless to say, that's the nature of Black Ops. There was an instance there as well where I thought my teammate was going to get that guy who came around to the side of me and killed me there. So I actually knew he was there, but I was assuming my teammate was going to take him out. And that is never a good thing to do. Don't ever assume that one of your teammates is going to take out an enemy that's close to you because it's never a sure thing. Um, if you put your concentration on a different guy, you'll completely forget about that guy and he may have won that little gunfight and he'll just knife you then or something like that. So... I think what really uh, worked out well for me in this gameplay was holding down the C flag. I did a fairly good job at holding it down. Um, I did pick up a secondary gun for myself, which was a good thing. Like it was a se My secondary gun was another AUG, which is cool. But um, the AUG isn't usually uh, a gun I use too much. But um, just to explain that this class that I'm using at the moment is my anti-air class. Now I have changed the first perk for Ghost, because I'm trying to get Ghost Pro now. Because this is a new account again, so I've lost all my perks and all that stuff. But I'm not too forced. It's fun to unlock everything again, you know. So, um, this is my anti-air class. The AUG is a fairly good gun. I have Steady Aim Pro on it, because I prefer to do hit fire for these kind of maps. A lot of people say in my videos, like, how can you never ADS? Or what's the story? You never ADS or whatever. I do ADS from time to time, but in in quick fire battles, I like to use ADS because it allows me to run in behind cover while shooting. It's, it's so important for me to stay mobile while shooting my gun as opposed to using ADS because your character then looks like he's only walking around and stuff like that. And that can leave you very vulnerable to enemies that are aiming at you as well. Like so, um, In certain instances, I do like to shoot from the hip. And I would recommend it to some of you as well. Now, I wouldn't recommend hip-firing the whole game long or anything like that, but um, it is very advantageous if you use that technique in certain battles. Like, I am uh, totally accustomed to it now, so I know when to use it and when not to use it and stuff like that. Well, yeah, guys, that's probably the most I've talked about a gameplay since I've done my 49 kill streak on Modern Warfare Reflex back in the day. So um, I want to ask you guys a question. Like on my last Call of Duty Black Ops video, I did a Wii points, a 2,000 Wii points giveaway. As I'm sure most of you are aware, I got very good feedback, a lot of comments, and a lot of uh, likes, and I'm, I'm very thankful for that. Thanks, guys, for all of that, and I hope. Um, the winner of those points does get some enjoyment out of the games they purchase, be it either on the DSi or the Wii Shop channel or anything like that. So, yeah, I just have to pick it up dogs there. I just wanted to mention that. But, um, what do you think of me doing those uh, 2000 Wii points giveaways? Do you, do you like that kind of thing? I'm sure, like, okay, it's a, it's a giveaway and it's for free and somebody gets it for nothing or whatever watching my videos. Of course they're going to like it or whatever, but just let me know in the in the comments if you could. Just say um, what you think of me doing those giveaways, would you like to see more in the future? Like I can't guarantee that I'll be able to afford to do more in the future because 
as I said before, I don't get paid for the videos I put out on YouTube, so um, it's coming out of money that I earn from working in my factory. So um, you know, I'm I'm happy enough to do it. It doesn't cost me much, and it's nice to give something back to the community watching my videos. It's actually this moment here you just saw there. Uh, the guy using Ghost, he ran into the building and he was kind of a, a small bit glitchy going around in the circle and I couldn't quite aim at him I was aiming down on my sights but I couldn't quite hit him properly like those problems are not persistent on Xbox 360 or PS3 it seems to be a kind of tailored problem for the Wii really but anyway here's me covering my niece Alicia 32 was just running out there and I took out that same guy with Ghost on Maybe it was Ghost Pro because of the dogs. If you use Ghost Pro, if you didn't know, if you use Ghost Pro, uh, the dogs don't go for you and helicopters don't shoot at you and stuff like that. So it's a it's a very good perk. I'm trying to unlock Ghost Pro myself at the moment. Um, so yeah, as well, guys. In the last video I did, where uh, a guy was singing my my team song, I am Desiree. <laughs> that song. Uh, in that video you can actually see my friend code for this uh, profile so I didn't take that out on purpose so guys if you want to add me send me an ally request my friend code is in that gameplay and this is the end of this gameplay so I hope you liked the video and there is another Wii Points giveaway on this gameplay so all you have to do is leave a comment on the video click the like button and please favorite the video as well if you could and that would be that would be tremendous guys i hope you enjoy your weekend and i'm off to play some call of duty black ops myself thanks for watching my videos guys see you again